Hello, this is Delusional here. I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, this is an update for the last video that I made on the guard break setup guide. Now, this one has to do with the walls because I forgot to add that in to the video, or should I say, I didn't really go out of my way to experiment enough to see whether or not if you can perform it towards the wall. So, I found one that you can do on the wall. Now, the way to perform this, it really just depends on how exactly they're slumping down when they're getting to the ground. And also what kind of particular move they'll use if they're going to either side okeme or side roll away. Or if they're going to be using some of their wake up options to attack you. So if let's say if you manage to get like mm, the uh, wall and you do this. This works. So if they try to backwards roll quickly you can actually catch them with the 1 plus 2 charge up move in your no sword stance. So to do it, all you need to do is go for any launcher once they are at the wall. You go for your bound, you sidestep, and then you do this. That's it. You gotta do it quickly though. If you do it too quickly actually, you can hit them before they hit close enough to the ground. And you may not manage to actually land the 1 plus 2. Because they actually might just hit them instead or... Uh, Actually, I don't even know if there's anything else that will actually happen. Just that you might just hit them and you want the guard break, not the actual hit off of the opponent. But that's just me. You can do it from any launcher, of course, as long as you get the bound and then you sidestep and you do it. See, right there, it ended up getting the hit off of the opponent on the ground. So you have to be a little bit more patient. Once more. There we go. So just about them hitting the ground and then performing it to then land the actual guard break. This also works if they're trying to side okay me you. In fact, it works best if they do side okay me. But it doesn't work if they do this instead. If they do a quick recovery, they actually can hit you out of attempting to use the move. Of course, if you decide to let go without charging the move, you can still hit them. If they decide to go for a wake up mid kick, they can still hit you out of the move as well. But again, you let it go faster, then you won't have to worry about the attack actually hitting you. This also includes on the low kick as well. A spring kick can also manage to hit you out of the charge up 1 plus 2 as well. Same thing, let it go faster, and then you can actually hit the opponent before they even manage to hit you with the spring kick. Same thing with recovery kick. Now, this one actually kind of depends. If you do it a little too early and not just too late, like a Goldilocks zone, you can actually hit them while they're grounded, or they may end up getting counter hit from this move and you can launch it but it's a very tight opening and I haven't really pulled it off all that much to really get it to work so that's essentially your options to try to go for the wall guard break setups with Yoshinetsu so if you guys like what you watched give it a like subscribe to see more of my shit and stay tuned for more <laughs>